Hi everyone, welcome to week two of Chemistry and Society. As I warned you, week one was kind of a doozy, especially because you're, primarily because you're in a late start class. So most of you got all of the work done in week one. Um, in terms of my late work policy, you can review it in detail on the course syllabus. The basics are labs are accepted late with a two point per day penalty and your movie summaries are accepted late with a one point per day penalty. Nothing else is accepted late, so um, if you've missed some work, you've got a couple of days to get it in still while it's worth some credit, please don't wait too long. Looks like some of you still don't have your lab kits either, so the bookstore is open today. If you didn't order it in advance or pick it up last week, you'll need to do that today and get last week's labs in. Just remember, two points per day, so starting today it's two points off, tomorrow would be four points off, so on and so forth. Um, one other thing about the labs really quick. Um, the first two labs in the Hands-On Learning website open automatically. Essentially, they're free. But to go on beyond that, for future labs, you have to input your lab kit code. Remember, that was on the sticker that you took a picture of and uploaded in your Getting Started lab, the very first lab we did in this last week. So you need to input that code. It's, I showed that in the video. I just want to remind you here, the rest of the labs will not open unless you've put that code in. If you're having issues with your code, you need to reach out to the hands-on learning folks. Their tech support can be found, again, um, right here off the course homepage under tech support contacts. It's also listed in the course syllabus. So just a couple of things about that as a reminder. So let's take a look at what we got going on now. Let's close up shop in week one. <clears throat> Opening week two, Obviously your list of things is much smaller, but you do have your first exam, which covers chapters one and two, which we did you did last week. So you've got your exam due by Sunday night. You've got your carbon footprint lab. I will warn you, everybody hopefully listening to this, um, you have to collect your trash for a couple of days. So you cannot wait until Sunday to do this lab. You need at least a few days to get started and start collecting data. That's actually all you've got this week, so it's a pretty light lab compared to last week. Um, and you'll see with the late start section that it can be like that. Some weeks are heavier than others as I had to condense certain weeks to go from 16 into just 12. Um, other than that, it looks like everybody's off to a good start. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great week.